early voting sites are up and running across the state. And when you pull up to the polls, you'll likely see a lot of candidates and supporters who are trying to win your vote at the last minute. CBS 12's Jay O'Brien has the rules designed to keep candidates from harassing you when you go cast your ballot. Go to any polling place, you'll see fields of campaign signs. Candidates will often be out front too, but they've got to stay a good distance away. And that rule alone can lead to some tension. CBS 12 News cameras on hand catching a brief clash this afternoon at a Riviera Beach okay. polling place. Fair enough. It's against all protocol. A voter mad that this candidate was speaking to cars of people about to cast their ballots. Another woman was doing the same. Both got flack from voters. So ma'am, are you allowed to stop the cars? She explained she wasn't stopping the cars, just handing them a voter card if they stopped. God bless, thank you. In-person polling place campaigning is a time-honored tradition in politics and often a voter's last memorable interaction before making their choice. So what are the rules that keep candidates from campaigning when you're casting your vote? The rules are actually very simple. You can't campaign near an election site. A Charles Zeldin, a political science professor, explains candidates and supporters have to keep 150 feet away from a polling place and guards are usually on hand to enforce it. It's usually considered to be 150 feet from the, the entrance of the door into where you vote. But there's one catch. The rules were not written for long lines uh, of voters. Voters in long early voting lines stretching 100 feet or more could come face to face with candidates vying for last minute support. But Zeldin finds most candidates follow the rules. As long as you're not hassling the voters, most people are not going to be bothered by that. Contrary to what you might think, and unlike some other states, there is no rule in Florida that prevents you from wearing political clothing supporting a candidate. When you go to vote, you can pretty much wear whatever you want when you go to the polls, except this year in Palm Beach County, you also have to wear a mask. I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News. Early voting, early voting ends this weekend, but the last day in the voting times vary by county. Saturday is the last day for early voting in Indian River County from 8 to 4, Okeechobee County from 8.30 to 4.30, and Martin County from 8 to 5. Sunday is the last day of early voting in St. Lucie County from 10 to 6, and in Palm Beach County from 7 to 3.